So he's eyeballing me, right? And he goes, this is what happens to guys that mess with me. Right? And he holds out his horn to show me he's got an apple on it. And I'm thinking, what kind of threat involves a fucking Granny Smith? He chucks this apple up into the air, right? And as it comes back down, he uppercuts it. And it splits in two and hits the flare. And he goes, that'll be your heat. And I'm looking for this apple. And I'm going, that's two perfectly clean hoffs. I went, you'd already sliced that. Goes, eh, no, I had to. That's just how hard I punch. I went, you'd fucking cut 90% of the way through that. So it would fall apart when you hit it, you daft apple punching bastard. So I bet you spent the last week throwing hooks at fresh fruit and veg before you realised you couldn't have shatter a fucking kumquat. Then he goes, oh, fucking scarlet, right? Pure, pure scarlet. I mean, why don't you try punching something from my pantry, mate? See, there's something you brought out in your wee bum bag. I mean, here, try punching that toy. I mean, I'll not be punching any toys. I mean, punch your fucking toy. So I'll not be punching toys. I punch your fucking toy, mate. Show me who has you. He goes, I've already proved myself. I went, mate, the only thing you've proved is that you're a menace to the fruit and veg aisle. So get out of my house for a rattle your head with a pineapple, you mad pre-sliced apple.